Fantastic. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, I'm Bruce Grant. I'm the chief of the Child Protection Program in UNICEF Malawi. Uh, it's a very, very big program because it's a, in a very, very um, difficult country. Um, basically, one in six children are highly vulnerable to abuse, so the child protection situation is dire. So our big focus is protecting children from abuse, ensuring that children who are affected by HIV and AIDS get appropriate psychosocial support, um, and early childhood development for kids um, zero to six. So um, for the, um, a child not attending a, ch uh, a children's corner, the day will start very early. Um, it's going out searching for food, searching for foam. Um, the morning breakfast will consist of seema, which is a, a local dish, which is um, boiling up uh, rice, no sorry, boiling flour, mm -hmm. water with a bit of salt, that's it. And that's how kids start the day, and for most kids that's probably the only meal of the day. So life's tough. Mm -hmm. And one in four children will be actually working as well, mm -hmm. yeah? And that's for kids aged 5 to 14. So if a child's not in a, in a children's corner, they're basically out trying to survive. Okay. Uh, children's corners generally see about 50 kids on average, and it's like a club. So it's not too big. A big club, and many kids get excluded within a big club. So it's mm -hmm. quite small, 50 kids. The play materials are very, very basic. Um, they're generally made in country, mm -hmm. um, and they're sort of things like just building blocks, mm -hmm. you know. So if you think of the age group, it's sort of, you know, it's, it's 8 to 18. Mm -hmm. So um, it's reading materials, it's storybooks, um, it's sporting equipment, it's um, for girls, it's volleyball, for boys, it's soccer, it's football. If you walk into a children's corner, you'll see, um, you know, up to 50 kids, you know, as, um, in the room. Um, and then you'll see um, lots of grandmothers and some um, um, community male leaders, you know, and it might include, include some people from faith-based organisations, local priests or whatever, and they, they're the support team for those kids, and they understand their role very, very clearly, and it's to help those kids get through the next week. Malawi is an amazing place that, um, I think it's because it's, they've just been so hit by HIV, AIDS, poverty, a whole range of things. So, People really get the need to support children. So getting volunteers is quite easy, um, which means it's sustainable. You know, it's not where UNICEF goes in, pays people to do a certain activity, and you think, God, how are you going to maintain that? It really is about supporting the community to come together for kids. If I can, uh, I'd like to just to thank uh, Starwood uh, and the, the, the staff and their supporters uh, for their support for the program. It really is making a, a big difference to children's lives. Yeah. And so I'm happy to say that. Thank you very much.